Welcome to this version of Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. In this blog, we'll look at the benefit of using the clone command in a family of assemblies. Recently, we received a call on our tech line asking for assistance. Our customer had received the following message when attempting to create a new family of assemblies. The message stated that insert assembly copy is not supported in family of assembly files. The customer stated that they did not use the insert assembly copy command and was at a loss to explain the message. The following video explains what caused the message and how to resolve the unsupported situation. In this example, I've recreated one of our training assemblies to recreate the customer's issue. I've created this housing and wish to add it to a family of assemblies to create different sizes of the housing. Notice that there's no insert assembly copy command listed in the pathfinder. I'll go to my family of assemblies tab and select the new icon to create a new family of assemblies. And notice I get the same message that the customer received. Upon further investigation, You'll notice that I use the mirror component command in this assembly to create this mirror group. The mirror component command utilizes the assembly copy command internally. Notice that if I delete this mirror copy command and go back to the family of assemblies and click new, I get a different message reminding me to save the assembly first. I click yes and then I can create my members. Now that we've determined the problem, how do we solve this situation in the assembly? If you've already taken our advanced assembly course, you know we can fix this using the clone command. In fact, we can actually delete the pattern command as well as eliminate all but one of these bolts and then position all the bolts with the clone command. To do this, we start by selecting the clone command. Then we select the bolt as the component that we wish to clone and accept it. We are then prompted to select reference geometry. And for this example, I'll select the cylindrical face that the bolt fits into. And I'll accept this. I then select all the components in the assembly that have the reference geometry that I want to place the bolt into. I then have the option of picking adaptable or exact reference geometry. In this case, I want exact reference geometry. And then I accept this selection. Notice that all these holes are now populated with bolts. But upon close inspection, you'll see some of these bolts are backwards. To fix this, I'll select on the red placement dot and I'll get this little toolbar come up. In this case, I wish to flip all the bolts on this plate so I can hold down my control key and select the red dots, make sure they turn green, and I can flip the group of them. Once I have them all selected, I select the Flip Orientation button and notice they've all been flipped. I'll repeat this process on the bottom plate. Once again, I'll select the first one and then hold down the Control key to select the rest of them. Once they're all selected, I click the Flip Orientation button again. I can visually verify that everything is positioned correctly, and I click Finish. Notice that the assembly now appears as it did before without using a Pattern or Mirror command. We'll save this assembly and attempt to create a family of assemblies from it. This time, when I click on the new command for a family of assemblies, I'm taking directly into the dialog where I can name these.
This is just one of many examples that I could show where some advanced assembly knowledge not only streamlined the design, but saved a lot of frustration. Want to learn more? Check out our online training page at the website listed on this slide. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call our tech line at 1-877-215-1883.